What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K of PNTS Network and the Hard Knock Digital Culture. Back again with another The Capsule. This is the show where we take a little a tidbit look at the biggest topic for the week in triple A gaming news. And I give my thoughts on it, and then you can leave your thoughts thereafter. So welcome back, gamers, to the capsule. I am your host, MM2K, again, of PNTS Network and Hard Knock Digital Culture, and today we're diving into the current state of Xbox and discussing how they have a real chance to turn things around and dominate the summer news cycle for 2023. However, this opportunity will only lead to tangible improvements. You know what I'm saying? If Xbox leadership is held accountable. So let's explore why, and we're going to do this in multiple parts. So let's start with part one. Part one, let's, we, we got to go where this all started. The, the fact that d- to make the reality that Xbox has to turn things around, we got to talk about their previous failures. And I get it. If you're a huge fan of the platform, you want to disregard that. I've, I've, I've had good friends say now it starts because neither company has to deal with previous decisions. No, the moment you are stamp CEO, you have higher and firepower. You have the ability to squash out any decision that was made by your predecessor. So regardless of the cards that you're dealt with, every CEO is dealt with certain cards. Regardless of the cards that you've been dealt with, the decision in the buck stops with you. So, and, and, and Phil Spencer has been in charge of Xbox for over 10 years. He is he for it's been a while that he's been under the pressure of any previous predecessor, Donnie D, whoever the case may be, Peter Moore. We got to stop blaming Terry Myerson for crying out loud. Okay, you can't admonish that history because if you do, you don't understand how we got here. You can't admonish that history just because you think they're going to start doing better now. All that factors in because regardless of what you think. It's not Xbox's need to get you any longer. They already have you. They got to get the people that don't believe them. The people don't believe them because of the past. All right. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Fact of the matter is it's no secret that Xbox has been trailing behind PlayStation this generation. And many fans believe a single showcase can reverse their standing. But let's face the truth, y'all. Xbox's struggles go beyond a single event. They've been plagued by a lack of compelling exclusives and a perceived inability to create great games for the past 10 years under their current leadership. Now, the recent disappointment from PlayStation Showcase may have boosted hopes for Xbox fans, but it doesn't erase the fact that Xbox has released subpar exclusives for a significant period. We must look beyond the surface and understand why Xbox is trailing so much this generation. All right. So let's go to part two, the importance of quality and Phil Spencer's role and how that plays a big part in all this. Xbox's main challenge lies in regaining the trust of gamers they've lost to PlayStation. It is very important to understand that. It's not about what fanboy camp thinks that they won the argument for the day on Twitter. That doesn't help Xbox. Xbox can't take your Twitter rants and cast them into the bank and say, ah, look, market, we're making more revenue than Sony. And we got all these investments in Game Pass and PC and we're throwing everything but the kitchen sink out there. And even though, you know, we don't have enough money initially from the game sales, here goes Twitter arguments. That's worth something. That's a commodity, right? It doesn't work that way. They already have you. They have to regain the people that they lost. And the people that they lost aren't don't get excited for what has you excited. If that was the case, they would have never left. Okay, I think that's that's easy to to understand and it's a very tangible thing to to recognize. All right. A good showcase alone in response by Xbox won't be enough. Xbox needs to prove that they can consistently deliver great games. Once again, they did it in the 360 era. It's not impossible. They can do it again. And that's where Phil Spencer, the head of Xbox, comes in. Phil Spencer must be held accountable if Xbox is to do better and start consistently making great games again. The current situation, like the release of Redfall in a troubled state, 
does not inspire confidence in Xbox's ability to prioritize quality. Making excuses for Phil will only per- perpetrate or uh, perpetuate, excuse me, the disappointment and hinder any progress. All right. Next part. Part three, holding Phil Spencer to a higher standard. Let's address those who make excuses for Phil on social media and also great friends of mine. And, and, and I don't mean any shade or whatever, but we, we, we got to call a spade a spade. Okay. And, and, and there's folks out there that want to dismiss Red Falls issues as it relates to Phil as growing pains. Look, Phil has been in this role for over a decade. There should be no more excuses for releasing games that aren't up to par. It's time for Xbox community to hold Phil to a higher standard. Okay. Phil is not some substitute teacher who just walked in yesterday and was was rattled because the, the main teacher forgot to leave the notes for the class activity that day. He's been doing this for 10 years. There are plenty of examples out there. People like Yoshida who saw a poor, a, 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 a a supposed poor state of God of War when Corey Barrog first rebooted it and said, no, this is not good enough. Put this back in the oven, bring it back out when you're done. And nobody wants to hear the excuse that you're being hands off. You can be hands off and not micromanage the development, but because you just spent $7 billion on this company and the output of this game that you introduced, Phil, you got on stage and introduced. Not Bethesda before the purchase, you did it. If you're going to stamp your seal of approval on it, being that you got so many within the gaming culture that do trust you, everybody don't distrust you. That means something. So at the very least, you should be checking out the progress and seeing if, if what the product is, is, is giving gamers is acceptable. Okay. Now, with all that said, with all that criticism that and, and constructive criticism at that that I laid out just now, Xbox can turn this around by putting out better quality and listening to constructive criticism. Excuses only enable a cycle of disappointment year after year, causing gamers who left to never return. I think that's the biggest part that we're missing out here. It's not you that's willing to get up every day for several hours and argue on Xbox's behalf for Twitter on Twitter. You're not going to save the day for Xbox. It's getting the people back that left that will. So if you truly want Xbox to succeed, and trust me, I'm in that boat. I do want them to succeed. I may not be the happiest with them now, but we need multiple companies out here battling each other. You know what I'm saying? And reasonable, fathomable, and professional competition to provide the best games. We do need that. So I definitely, I want Xbox to, to succeed. If we all want Xbox to succeed, we must all demand better from its leadership. Okay? So here's the conclusion. To wrap things up, Xbox's chance to dominate the summer news cycle can only lead to real progress if the community advocates for better AAA games. We need to move beyond fanboyism and hold even our favorite companies to the highest standards. That's why this show is no longer being slotted. The time is no longer being slotted out for PlayStation Prep Rally. That's why we introduced the capsule. We don't think even though we, we really like what PlayStation has been doing, we don't think that they're ready yet as far as their communication to be dedicated to their own time slot. All right. By holding Phil Spencer accountable the same way, demanding quality and fostering open dialogue, we can create an environment where Xbox rises to its full potential. Let's be advocates for better gaming experiences, benefiting all gamers in the process. So with that said, I want to thank you for joining me today. Remember, it's not about brand loyalty at the surface, I mean, or at the core. It's about pushing for excellence. Stay tuned for more discussions on the future of gaming. Keep gaming, keep dreaming, keep demanding better. And that's it from your boy. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. Cause like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. That leads you to the Broadband Bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, HNDC and cloud dosage. With that said, have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.